Welcome to this how-to on getting the NVIDIA app Stroke Shadow Play to record your game and audio in one track and your chat audio like Discord in another track. First let's get the basics set up. You'll need a third party audio mixer which supports streaming. For this I'm using SteelSeries GG which has a module called Sonar. It's a free download from their website, you don't need their hardware to install it. I do happen to have one of their mice, which works very well. You can see that Sonar gives you four channels for output, game, chat, media and aux, and one channel of input, which is the mic. You can independently adjust each of the channels volume, and they also have an equaliser, should you choose to configure that. Make sure that under the devices section, you've got your normal output device, and under the microphone, you've got your microphone that you use. Once the app has started, you can see that it shows in the app section along the bottom the programs that are using it. You can see that the NVIDIA container is my NVIDIA app. has got the game and the mic. You can see I've got DaVinci Resolve running uh, in media and mic. You can drag and drop these programs to be in different channels if you so wish. Sonar adds virtual audio devices for each of the channels. So if you go into the Windows Sound section, you'll see virtual audio devices showing up. Just make sure you've got your gaming one set as default and in your microphone you've got your SteelSeries Sonar microphone set as default. I would personally disable any unused audio devices like monitors that don't have speakers and things like that but it's your own preference. It just makes life easier to see what you've got. Okay, the final part of the setup is going to be the NVIDIA app. So the quick key for this is Alt Z. If you start it, then go into Settings Audio. The system sounds just uses the default sound settings, which we'd already set in our Windows settings, which was the Sonar gaming channel. You can change the source of the microphone though. You can see here, you need this set at the Steel Series Sonar microphone if it's not. You'll also need to set the audio track format to separate tracks. If you can't change this, it's because you've got the record or instant play set to on, like I have at the moment. So just disable the record instant play and then you can change the format to separate tracks. Once that's done, we're ready to test the setup. I'm going to be using Firefox as the input to the game channel, as it's easier than running a full screen game. So when I start this, video we should hear the sound we can see firefox is showing in the app section i'll just let it run a little just to get some sound in if you want to check your recording in a player like vlc note that it won't play both audio tracks simultaneously you'll have to change between the the game track and the voice track to make it easier to visually see this I've loaded up the video clip in DaVinci Resolve. You can see here's our audio track, audio one, audio two. This track here, we can see the record of the game and we can see this audio track is my voice. The problem with this setup comes when Discord is added to the mix. You can see when we start Discord, uh, that it appears on our chat channel and our mic channel. If you don't see them on the chat channel or mic channel, just go into settings on Discord and check your video voice is set to the right input and output devices. Because Discord is in the chat channel, when we do a recording, we're only going to get the game channel recorded and the voice channel recorded, which is the game and your voice, meaning your friends' voices aren't going to appear in the video. One of the options is to drag Discord from chat to game, but then that combines your friends' voices with the game audio in one track and your voice in the other track, which isn't ideal for editing. So how do we get around this? The answer is streamer mode. You can see at the top right of the Sonar app, there's a little slider. This is streamer mode. When you put streamer mode on, you see we get extra volume sliders in each channel, one for your personal mix and one for the stream. We need to do a little bit more configuration to get things just as we want them though. First go into the settings of the master channel and check your personal mix is still set to your own audio out device and the mic input set to your preferred microphone. For the stream mix, you need to set this at the SteelSeries Sonar Stream as shown. That's the device setup done. 
Next, you need to go into each channel settings and say whether you want its output to appear in your personal mix and or if you want it to appear on the stream mix. We want at least game and chat in our personal mix so we can hear the game and our friends. Media and aux can either be off, but as there's no apps using them, we can leave them as is. Then for the stream mix, we just need to add chat and mic. So game, personal mix, chat, personal mix, stream, media, we're not really worried about, aux, we're not worried about, mic, add to stream mix. Once that is done, we need to come back into the NVIDIA app, come into settings and then audio and make sure we change the source for the microphone to the SteelSeries Sonar Stream as shown. Now we are ready to test. Again, to make my life easier for creating this how-to, for Discord, I'm just joining my gaming server, but to emulate incoming sound, I'll just use a soundboard, so my friends will just be quacking ducks and an air horn. Now, to be fair, that's better conversation than I normally get. Let's start the YouTube video sound going. There. Come into Discord. Do the same board. Quack. Quack. Play some air horn. Quack. Right, come back to that. Stop. And then stop your recording. Again, I put my save video file into DaVinci Resolve so you can see the two audio tracks that were generated. Audio 1 should be the game and audio 2 should be the Discord chat and my voice. Let's unloop audio 2 and see what we get. Quack. There's an air horn. So you can see that was indeed the Discord. Just come back to here, unloop this track and hopefully you will We'll hear it's just the game sound. Headshot. Which is just as it should be. All done and dusted. Just a couple of little pointers in case you have issues. Firstly, if you turn off streamer mode, you'll have to go into the NVIDIA app and reset your microphone, or at least check it that it's back on the Steel Series Sonar microphone. Because when you turn off streamer mode, the streamer microphone will disappear and it can pick any microphone that it sees on the system. I'll just do that now. And there we are, back again. Also, Windows can have a habit of changing the default sound device if you plug in or unplug other audio devices. So it's always worth checking that you've got the right default output device and also you've got the right default input device. Also make sure in Sonar that it hasn't changed your output device or input device along the devices bar with each channel. I've had that happen to me. But lastly, if you do have a problem with the NVIDIA app, I have had a couple of little issues. You can reset it by coming into the NVIDIA settings, coming into settings, and then you can just turn it off here give it 10 or 15 seconds, turn it back on again, and that does sort of reset it. Hopefully everything will work for you. Enjoy streaming your games. Thanks for watching.